Hello everyone. Thanks for joining me in the Allen Block Workshop to learn about what it takes to successfully construct your Allen Block Retaining Well project. What I will walk you through today are the steps you're going to take when you need to step up your base course if you are building your retaining wall on a hill. This will be done once you've prepared your site, dug your trench, and properly compacted your wall rock in the base. This is shown in our site prep and excavation videos. These are very important steps for proper retaining wall construction. Now, building step-ups is an easy way to create more usable space and enhance the look and feel of your landscape. Now, let's head out back to our sandbox. When working with step-ups, you will need to dig a trench that is deep enough to accommodate the base material and extends into the slope far enough to bury one full block. In this example, we are going to show you how to do this properly and maintain stability. To begin, we already have our base rock in the trench, and it is compacted and level. This should also include the excavated area where the step up will be made. Using a string line for alignment, place the first block in the center of the trench with the raised front lip facing up and forward. Check for level and alignment from side to side and front to back. Make minor adjustments by tapping the blocks with a dead blow hammer, supporting the block with a hand or a knee to keep it steady. Careful attention to a straight and level base course will ensure a quality finished wall. Begin the base course at the lowest wall elevation. The first course of blocks should be buried a minimum of six inches or one inch per foot of wall height. If there is a slope below the wall, the approved plans or site itself requires engineering. Contact a local engineer or your Allen Block representative for more assistance. Check out our base course video for complete steps. Once the base course is in place, Fill in the area in front of the blocks with on-site soils. This will keep the base course blocks from shifting while filling and compacting. Fill the cores of the block in at least 12 inches behind the block with wall rock, as well as the base area of this second step up. Then backfill with approved on-site soils. So, with the wall rock and infill soils in place, run a mechanical plate compactor over the location where the step up or second course will be and behind the blocks of the first course in a path that is parallel with the wall. Make a minimum of two passes for each section. Ensure your step up base foundation is level with the first course of blocks and compacted well. Take care not to move the first course. Sweep the top of the blocks clean. Install your second course by sliding the blocks into place and offsetting them from the course below. Check for level as you go. When placing the blocks in the step up area, Make sure they are level with the rest of the course. This part of the course now becomes a base course and compaction is key. Ensure as each step up is built that there is one block that will be completely buried in the slope. With the second course installed, fill the cores of the block and at least 12 inches behind the block with wall rock, as well as the base area of the second step up. Then backfill with approved on-site soils. If another step up is needed, run a mechanical plate compactor over the location where the step up will be, over the top of the blocks where there are two or more courses and behind the block where there is only one course, making a minimum of two passes. Continue this process as you prepare your base course for your wall. If geogrid reinforcement will be needed as a part of the wall, refer to your approved plans for the course locations and position. So let's review what we have covered for site preparation and excavation. You will start on a properly constructed base that is level and compacted. You may need to roughly step this along a hillside to get started. Try to begin your base course at the lowest point and ensure you have about one inch of buried block for every foot of wall height. Place the blocks in the center of the trench following the string line with the raised front lip facing up and forward. Place the blocks tight together, checking each block for level and alignment from side to side and front to back. Once you have one full block buried, you are ready for a step up. You want to fill in the front of the block with on-site soils. You will then fill the course in 12 inches behind with wall rock. Typically, on-site soils can be used behind the wall rock. Then, compact the entire area, starting directly behind the block and working into the backfill area. In the step up location, ensure the wall rock is level and compacted, but make sure you don't move the block of the base course. Install your second course and remember to offset by at least a quarter of the block length as you transition from the block to the rock, follow the base course installation steps. Sight down the wall and make any adjustments needed to ensure they are level and aligned. Fill with wall rock and backfill. 
Compact on the top of the block and behind the wall, making a minimum of two passes with a mechanical plate compactor. Sweep the block clean. Add your GeoGrid reinforcement on every other course or as specified on your approved plans. Continue these steps to the top of your wall. One of the many economic advantages as to why you would choose an Allen block wall is the ability to match site conditions. This includes installation on a hillside. As you have seen, you simply step up the base to work your way up the hill. I should point out, it is much easier to do a step up rather than a step down into a slope. So if you can start at the lowest point in your wall, you will speed up the base course installation and a few headaches. By following this simple process, you will ensure the base of your retaining wall is stable for years to come. For different wall applications and the installation videos we referenced, visit allenblock.com. Happy building! Always better! Always Allenblock!